Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today, I'll be showing you how I made my observatory build. Let's dig into it. A quick warning, if you are hoping for a block by block tutorial, this isn't one. I always build with the assistance of mods like World Edit. If you don't have access to building mods or you just don't want to use them, I have all of my builds available on Patreon as a reward for supporting. Downloads are updated every couple weeks and are available in Schematic, Lightmatica, and World Save files. Okay, back to the build. Begin by creating a basic floor plan. I'll put the dimensions on the screen for you. I'll usually have a reference image to help me get started, but you don't have to use it throughout the entire build. It's more to get a general idea for the layout of a build rather than using it as a guide. I'm using this image as a reference, but after a while, I'll stop looking at it and follow my own ideas. Once we have our floor plan, we'll stack it up to create the main body. I want this top left section to have a total height of 8 blocks. I'll select the area and use slash slash stack space 7 space minus A. I want this front portion to be elevated to the same height as the room that we just stacked. I'll select it and do slash slash move space 7 space minus A. That will move it up so it meets up with the top trim. Then I'll create a wall of emerald blocks inside of the trim and stack that selection up to make another room. I'll follow this method for the rest of the build. It's pretty repetitive so we'll speed through it, but I'll put dimensions on the screen if you want to follow along. I'll jump back in when we get to the roofs. I'll use my normal method with Loft here to make the roofs. If you haven't watched my other videos, Loft is a really handy tool from the Archeon mod. I have a tutorial in the description that goes over this method, which will really help you in this step. If you don't want to use Loft, you can always replicate it by hand, but it's going to take a lot longer. Create the roof's edge, then its top edge, low edge, and a midpoint. Then we grab our Loft tool, which is paper, create our three frames, and do slash slash loft space set space lapis underscore block. After cleaning it up, we'll flip it to the other side. Follow this method for the rest of the roofs. I want this top window to have a spherical shape. I can accomplish this with the spherical generation command. I have a tutorial coming out soon that goes over these commands in detail, but I'll go over it quickly now. The command I use here is slash slash h sphere space diamond underscore block space two comma three comma three. H sphere creates a hollow sphere around where my player is standing. Diamond block is the material and 2 comma 3 comma 3 are the radii. This example denotes that I want a sphere with a radius of 2 on the x-axis and radii of 3 on the y and z axes. The defining structural component is the telescope. After creating the base, I'll make a line that approximates the position I want it to have. I'll select my two points and do slash slash line space diamond block. Once I have the line, I'll select its endpoints. The selection on the left will be pause 1 and pause 2 will be on the right. I'll use the spike command from Archeon to create the tapered shape of the telescope. The command I used is slash slash spike diamond underscore block 1 5. 1 is the thickness at position 1 and 5 is the thickness at position 2. 
I'll go through and finish up the rest of the structure. I think I want a copy of this front portion over to the left and rotate it 90 degrees. To do this, we'll need to use the copy and rotate commands. I think I'll go into the slides for this since we haven't covered it yet on this channel and people can have trouble with it. So here is a top view of our build. We want this building to be copied and rotated right here. First, select the area you want copied. Then, you need to stand in a very specific spot when you do slash slash copy. When you paste a copy, it will assume the same orientation the original had when you copied it. If you copied this selection on the right hand side, then it would be pasted like this. If you copied from here, it would be pasted like this. I want the new section to be rubbing up against the left wall of the large tower like this. So, when I copy, I'm going to stand where our selected section meets the main tower. Now I can do slash copy and have this build in my clipboard. Before you start pasting, there's another step. We want it to be rotated, remember? If we pasted it now, it would be facing the wrong direction. To rotate this, we'll use the command slash slash rotate space 90. This turns the copy in our clipboard by 90 degrees in the positive direction. The copy will rotate clockwise by 90 degrees around the player. After our clipboard is ready, I'll stand against the large tower's left wall and do slash slash paste minus A. Minus A just makes it so error blocks aren't pasted in. Then a couple last touches and the shape is complete. We can move on to texturing. I used World Edit brushes and GoPaint to texture this for the most part and then did some blending by hand afterwards. Watching these videos will help with the step. I'll put the blocks I used on the screen, but there's not much to say past that, so I'll just speed through this part. Beginning detailing, I'm going to change gravity affected blocks like sand and brown concrete powder to placeholder blocks so they don't fall. I'll change them back at the end. Start off detailing by attacking the roof trim. This usually takes the longest, so I like getting it out of the way first. Use stairs, slabs, and trap doors to connect the full spruce wood blocks to give it a more rounded shape. This takes time, so be patient with it. There's not much to say about detailing that can't be explained visually, so I'll shut up and time lapse the rest of this. See you at the end. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hopefully it was useful and you were able to follow along for the most part. 
I know my methods aren't always the most accessible to all players, but if you take time to learn the simple tricks, you'll save yourself so much time in the long run. All right, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you just want the build downloads instead of building them yourself, they're available on my Patreon. Good luck, have fun, and have a good day. Bye.